Okay, there's been another update for H1Z1 on the PS4. Let's take a little look and see what it's about this time. It's going to be something exciting, I know it. I can feel it in my hot dog eating contest. What the fudge? Welcome back to The Essential Gamer with me, Lee. We're looking at H1Z1 because there's been an arcade mode update for a hot dog eating contest. You start with a golden gun and you've got to eat as many hot dogs by the end of the game to win. Huzzah! Um, basically it's one of those where you have to collect things over the process of a few matches, so this one you're collecting hot dogs. Um, it doesn't really say where you're going to find hot dogs, or how you get them. It does say you start with a swagnum, which in the lobby is empty. Boobs! So, starting the game, you jump in as usual. You've got your swagnum in your hand and your one bullet. It's a golden gun situation, so one bullet, one death. Um, it, again, nothing really was told to me. You, you could find fireworks, you could find uh, throwables and things like that, uh, as well as ammo to go with your golden gun. Uh, all the throwables are there and the crossbow is there, but it only fires fireworks, it doesn't fire the normal bolts. Weird. Uh, you get constant messages of a golden hot dog's been picked up and it doesn't really tell you what that does so you head to the drops which are golden you open them up and you'll find ammo for your swagnum and you'll also find if you're lucky a golden hot dog Ta -da! Um, no idea what it does in game you keep hold of it and win to get a limited time uh, mask I think it's a unicorn mask or something like that uh, it just seems to serve a purpose of illuminating you for the actual match though uh, I picked up a few of these it felt cool. I mean, I had no idea how to keep hold of the, you know, keep track of how many I was actually picking up because there's no, there's no counter on the screen. There's no hot dog symbol. Uh, there's no explanation as to what the buff I got was. Um, I kept getting told it was golden hot dogs. Oh, I, I got a locked Kratos cake for fire and a firework. I think. I mean, again, no idea why I got that. Didn't really explain that very well. I, I just got one, which was different. We'll take a look at that in a minute. Um, the actual game mode suffered as usual by people not playing it. Uh, 16 players, but here we are. I'm gonna, I'm gonna face off against someone right now. I'm gonna take a shot with my golden gun. This, this son of a bitch is gonna taste my steel. Ah. Yeah, I'm a bit of a donkey in this game mode, so we won't talk about that. But we'll talk about the locked chaos crate. Look, I had to buy a key for it. It cost me a hundred gold doubloons, and then I could actually open the crate. You know, the crates. I love crates, and I'm so glad I got to open one. Let's open up and see what we get. What are we going to get? A jacket. A jacket. A fucking jacket! Ah, I've had enough of this shit! This is bullshit! Everybody make a job! It's just a bad time. I'm just... I'm just struggling to... I mean, look at him. Even he's depressed by this. It's all crates again. It's... Ugh. No, don't do it, dude. Don't. The problem I have with most of the H1 updates recently is that they seem to come with a modicum of deal with it. Yes, there's a description at the bottom, but it doesn't really tell you anything else. It doesn't say how to keep track of how many hot dogs you've collected, for instance. You've got to collect 100. I don't know that from looking at this screen. It doesn't tell me anything. You've got to work it out for yourself. A lot of the details are shared once again online, on their website, which if you're a console player, you're just not going to check that often. Still no melee, still no changes to the main battle royale. I mean, I'm starting to wonder where... The oh, here it is. None? I picked up two! This is bullshit! <laughs> 